The owner of a baby clothing company is getting slammed online after denying her employee's request for remote work while her baby was in the NICU. Former Kite employee Marissa Hughes and her husband had been trying to adopt, and they were floored when they got a call about a newborn who needed parents. The baby was born at just 22 weeks old. Hughes reached out to her employer, Kite Baby, and asked if she could work remotely while her new son was in the NICU. Hughes claims her request was not only denied, but that she was fired for even making the request in the first place. Since then, the Kite Baby CEO has issued two apologies. The first was met with immediate backlash, as many TikTokers thought it came off as scripted and unauthentic. In the second apology, the CEO stated that she was the one who made the decision to veto Hughes' request to go remote. Sincerely, what went wrong was how we treated Marissa, and I was the one that made the decision to veto her request to go remote. Um, while she has to stay in the queue to take care of her adopted uh, baby. And when I think back, this was a terrible decision. I was insensitive, selfish, and was only focused on the fact that her job was um, had always been done on site, and I did not see the possibility of doing it remotely. Despite Kite Baby's attempts to remedy the situation, many in the comments are still angry and saying that the damage has been done. The controversy has started a larger conversation about government-mandated paid leave for new parents.